Hey guys, it's Hans Hobbies, and I'm. This is another video on my Tamiya Super Cloudbuster. I know I haven't made a video about this car in a while, um, but because I've been making a bunch of different videos and reviewing stuff, and just ha had a lot of other stuff to do, so I haven't run this or driven it or just worked on it in a while because it's it's been pretty reliable and well running for me. But I thought I'd just do a quick little video. Um, about it before um, I filmed my my favorite RC cars video on this because this is definitely one of my favorite RC cars even though it is a fairly new edition I've, um, I've barely had it for a month now but it's already up there with uh, some of my uh, very favorite RC cars so um, I'm definitely going to do a, do an episode on that, on this car, but before I did, did that, um, I just wanted to note a couple things. Um, while I was filming the running video for that video, uh, that my favorite RC cars episode, I did roll it and broke off the lights. Um, that is a very common issue on these because the lights are very hard and the, the whole truck is very heavy, so they end up snapping off. So I just ended up removing it completely off the body and just leaving the roll cage and the roll cage uh, I noticed also doesn't come up far enough to actually work properly as a roll cage um, so it, it does still damage your um, the, your sunroof and stuff uh, if you're not careful but that's not gonna be that too, uh, that big of a problem because I'm actually gonna be switching out this body uh, I actually wasn't planning on using this body but um, selling it kind of failed, so I ended up just going ahead and painting it. And I think it paint, the paint job turned out really well, and I really like how it turned out. I really like how it looks. But um, I'm more as as far as uh, trucks go, um, and you can argue with me; it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. But um, as far as like the looks of the trucks go, I really like the look of. Um, Ford trucks a lot better than the more boxy GMC trucks So I'm gonna be swapping out this square body truck body for this J concepts body that I got a while ago um, This is the J concepts 1993 Ford F250 This is the one with the racer back and the visor on it. There's the tag for anyone who wants to know and I think that that would be a pretty cool truck to have because I really like the look of those 90s um, F-150 trucks and what I'm planning on doing with this is kind of making it into a um, extra large uh, Blackfoot so if you know the King Blackfoot the, the original Blackfoot was a Ford F-150 Ranger from the 80s it's a, like a bullnose Ford but then the one after that the King Blackfoot uh, if you know, it was a 1993 Ford F-150, just like this truck. So I've already got the decals, um, the King Blackfoot decals for it. Um, they're kind of coming in the mail right now. So those will be here at some point. But I thought I'd open this up in front of the camera and see what it actually comes with. Because I haven't actually bought a J-Concepts body before. Um, I've mostly always used... Proline bodies or Tamiya bodies, so pretty interested to see what J Concepts is gonna be like. A lot of people like J Concepts, and I've known about J Concepts for a while, um, especially because I grew up watching Jang on Ultimate RC, and he he was a big fan of J Concepts. He he had a lot of J Concepts tires and bodies and stuff for his short course trucks and monster trucks and such. So I trust they're a trusted brand I don't know why they did that See, I don't like it when bags are like this when they're folded up and then stapled but then also vacuum sealed that doesn't make sense to me like if you're gonna staple it why did you also vacuum seal it like I don't know but anyway <clears throat> you can see it my, you can actually see more than my arms this time because my cat is sitting on my chair, and if you have a cat, you know the cardinal rule of cats is 
They're sitting in your chair, it's now their chair, and you, you're not allowed to move them. So, get out of the bag. Keep it away from children so they won't die. So we have this body. Um, the thickness of the Lexan seems decent. It, it it definitely seems decent. Um, it's definitely not as thick as the Proline bodies, but this also wasn't a very expensive body, uh, relatively uh, to like other bodies. Um, I think I paid like twenty eight dollars or something like that for this body. So it was pretty comparable to a stampede body, and in fact, if I yeah, so I just checked real quick, and it's the same width as like a stampede or blackfoot body, but it is definitely longer. And you can see it's the correct length for the clodbuster. Uh, let's see, in this bag we have some little. Packaging for the this looks like the visor. Yeah, that looks like the visor. You gotta cut it out there. Oh uh, wait, no, you cut it out here like that. That's part of the visor. So we got the visor, and then it looks like we have the racer back. So that's definitely gonna look cool. I really like the look of like the '90s trucks with the racer backs. Um, the visor I could do without. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me, but the racer bags I think definitely look cool. And this flat bed, I really also like the look of. I really don't like when a lot of um, RC car monster uh, truck bodies will put in the like the little bed lines on it, even though it's not a full bed, and it makes it look kind of weird. With this flat surface, it at least makes it so it looks like it has a cover on it. Um, so I, I I do like this flat surface a lot better, and also it's, it's going to be easier to sand and paint the flat surface like that so it looks like it does have the protective um, film on it which is good to see we have the window masks which are pre-cut which is cool um, usually these are th these things are um, something you have to cut out yourself but yeah we have all the window masks in blue we have all the nice decals on here J concepts a um, bunch of like light stickers headlight details tail tailgate some Ford decals I can put on the truck so it looks like they're also kind of advertising their Cloudbuster tri tribute wheels I'll I might eventually get those um, I also like that it has the firestorm on here kind of like an off-brand Firestone and also I think they do make a Firestone monster truck tire um, That they do call the Firestorm just for copyright purposes, and then this is just kind of a little um, Little note little Tips and like their little Thank you for purchasing blah 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 Yeah, that's all good and dandy so I'm looking forward to painting this. Unfortunately, Michigan is being kind of a dick right now. And it's almost May. And last night, it was covered in snow outside and it's still pretty cold. So it might be a hot second before I can actually paint this. Um, but I am going to be painting it just black, just like the, the, the Blackfoot would have been. And... So yeah, that's that's gonna be an easy easy thing to paint. It just needs to warm up real quick before I can paint that. But in the meanwhile, I can still work on my Cloud Buster. We have this thing I bought on eBay. It came in came in the sandwich bag. I also bought this a while ago. It's just been sitting in the queue for a while. These are like these three D printed um, servo mounts for the axle. So you can actually mount your servo to the axle, front and rear. So this will require a dual servo setup. But the cool thing about this, the reason I bought this was one, because it was a reasonable price. And also the Crawford engineering version that everyone seems to use. The, the, I can't seem to find any. 
And I would also really like this because this lets me um, keep this axle bumper here, which some people don't like the look of that because it's not very scaled to real monster trucks, but I like it because it adds that to me a touch. And also it's just functional for protecting the axle. So this, like this little 3D printed bracket part will let you mount the servo to the axles, directly onto the axles, so you don't have to get this uh, sloppy steering anymore, while also retaining this bumper. So it's got the little posts. It looks like some of the 3D printing wasn't as great um, as it could have been. Like this post is kind of rough. So some of this is kind of take a little bit of a sanding work, and I definitely want to paint over this, so the little pores of the 3D print don't get dirt and stuff trapped in it. And it also comes with all the hardware to mount it. No instructions though, but it shouldn't be that hard to figure out. So that's something I'm going to be putting on. Because a big, big complaint I had was the, the servo setup I have right now, um, it's relatively stock with the minor servo um, horn modification. And it, it steers fine now, but it's still kind of sloppy. Uh, it's hard to get it to go exactly where you want it. So it's hard to drive it any um, in any other situation other than like straight bashing. So this is definitely going to help. I have I do have to find a couple servos to pilfer out of a couple cars, but um, I'll figure that out. And that's going to be it for right now. This wasn't uh, anything spectacular. I know I've been putting a little more effort in like editing videos and stuff. This is just a kind of a video log for myself that I thought I'd also just kind of throw up on my channel. It's kind of a work in progress. Uh, hopefully it doesn't stall like my uh, Super Hornet project has. My Super Hornet project, I have started painting it, but unfortunately the paint started bubbling for some reason. Um, I, I guess uh, I, I was putting too, too much down at once or something. So that, that, that has to get all sanded back down and then repainted but that is definitely back in progress i just hope it warms up soon but for now that's that's basically it and i thank you guys for watching and uh, you can always subscribe uh, like comment all that good youtube shenanigans you can also follow me on instagram at han hobbies and i'll see you guys next time